after my first year of med school, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to sustain that volume of training and still do well in school. Last year was my first year of research and I think in part because I had missed it so much um, and because I was so determined to come back and not lose any ground, um, last year was primarily CrossFit. Like I didn't accomplish nearly as much in school as I would have liked to. I learned a lot from that and then this year, you know, my, my balance is a little bit better. These are just salad greens because we ran out of spinach. <laughs> Basil. Whoa. Uh -oh. Shoot. Did you do that the other day too when you had the wrong thing open? Uh -oh. I put, the, I put this one open. Good. I thought it was the other one. That's cool. It's going to be strong. This is actually what happens every day. Actually, this did happen yesterday when Danny like put the wrong <laughs> container thing. I don't think that's gonna help, but whatever. Nobody said it's gonna taste good. <laughs> this doesn't look like my best work. <laughs> I wanna see how this tastes, cause it was kind of a weird, the basil's not that bad. Oh, I like the basil. I do too, just not like a whole bottle of it. Oh my gosh, I can even smell it. So for today, we're going to go to first to gymnastics with Dominique and Mike, who are my gymnastics coaches. Um, and I work with them every couple of weeks. Last year it was more like every week. So Julie, those, these are going to be a little bit demoralizing. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel that they're going to be. Yeah. No, you're going to help her just get to a stand. She's going to need it because these weights are heavy. Yeah, yeah. This year has been very unique. I mean, last year was a great chapter. This year um, is going to be Julie's last competitive season as an individual at the CrossFit Games. And I know that one of the themes of this year is, is going to be going out with absolutely no regrets and, and leaving it all out uh, at the Games. And I'm excited about that. I mean, obviously Dominique and I are her gymnastics coaches, but we're also big fans of Julie and it's going to be exciting to see her really let it go. This is important right, to get through this. Pain. The pains of change. Okay. <laughs> it will not get any harder than this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Very good. Good, 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 go, good. There you go. There you go. Good. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we'll take shed all this weight. Nice. Good. Very good. Very good. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm, very good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yep, 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 yep. Very good. Excellent. There are movements here where you could do a split screen of an elite gymnast and, and, and split it with Julie, and it would be very difficult to tell the difference between an elite gymnast competing at the international level and what Julie does. Mmm, very nice. That is the real deal. She's really finding that balance between Julie, the CrossFit athlete, Julie, the future physician, um, and Julie, the person. Nice. That was great. That was great. That one was really good. I would almost say that one is probably one of the best. Yeah, when I can land it and not over rotate. That's always better. Good. That's there. It's so funny, like what makes like I haven't really worked on them that much. The, the seed though sometimes takes a little time just to grow and, and that just needs time. Do another one just like that one. Change nothing. Go. Oh. That's the best one I've ever seen you do. Best one I've ever seen her do. That was, that was really good. For me, it's like defining what your 
goal is and then allotting the right amount of time. So if you're a full-time student and, and it, it might not be reasonable to train six hours a day, you know, because mm -hmm. you might, you know, it might be feasible, but that first year of medical school when I was training a lot and I was in school like eight, nine hours at least, probably more by the time you count like doing work at home, like that was not sustainable. I almost lost my sanity after that. And so it just, like I couldn't have done it. Like you, you, th you don't think I could have done it for another year. No, I probably would have no like way. imploded. We I mean, were so emotionally drained by the end. <laughs> yeah, you know? like it's so emotionally draining. More than any, more than physically, it's all, it's all, you know, sometimes you need to be able to like take a break and go spend an hour with your friends and not like mm -hmm. be either in the gym or studying all day. So it's a constant process of learning the right balance. Last year was very lopsided intentionally, um, but this year I think when you put it all together, that's really what it's all about. The whole CrossFit thing and the training thing and medical school thing, it's really just trying to figure out how to, how to live and how to live with balance and, and she's figuring it out and it's exciting. It's exciting to see the evolution. still this great mystery <laughs> like I still am like it just blows my mind because you see like the things that people are capable of and I don't think there's too much about me specifically that sticks out like there's not like I'm not like clean and jerking like 250 pounds like some girls are and, like there's nothing specifically that stands out but I think is just overall the overall consistency that I've had on my side and it still blows my mind like when I think about like you know how did I end up here you know like everyone's I always think about this like everyone's literally pushing as hard as they can and giving it their all so like how does it just work out that I end up in like a good place yeah that's part of like that whole experience has made me realize like it's a it's so much more than just yourself and what you have control over it. This is like, I realize like I have ta like talents that I can take advantage of and that I can use to inspire other people or to, you know, somehow help someone else, you know, indirectly. But that's something that has been huge to like keep me going and be like, you know, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And yeah. this is, you know, this is what you were here to do, so. I think you're really gonna see the, the the competitor, the, the ferocious lioness. That's what Dominique and I say in private. We don't tell her that. But she's a lioness that has to come out there and really uh, let the claws come out and the fangs come out. And, and she does that. It may not, you may not see it externally, but uh, it's definitely in there. And I think this year you're going to see a little bit more of that come out and you'll see a little bit more emotion uh, out of Julie for a number of reasons. Last competitive season, uh, it's been a goal to go out there and leave it all on the floor. And when you do that, um, no matter how composed and cool she is, um, the emotions are going to come out and I can't wait. I can't wait to see that. Uh, I can't wait to see that and I know that her fans in the CrossFit community are going to be excited to see that part of her because it's something that she kind of keeps very private but people want to see it. We want to see it as coaches. After this year I'm going to have to learn how to balance still working out for my health and you know doing school and becoming a doctor and all that stuff. And it's going to be different for sure because it's not the same kind of pressure like you have to train today because you're going to, you know, it's going to pay off when you are in competition. It's going to be like you have to train today because it's good for your health and your sanity, you know. So it'll be a different goal. One of the things that's a huge driving force for me to try to better balance school and training this year is there's some really cool things going on um, at school now that I want to be involved with. One thing is that they have started the first functional medicine clinic in an academic institution. So functional medicine has been around for a while but this is the first time it's really being looked at sort of under a microscope and we're doing research and we're 
you know, hopefully going to be seeing a lot of patients and expanding. So sort of the premise behind functional medicine is addressing the root cause of what of the disease. So right now in our healthcare system, a lot of what we're doing is the patient explains this is what hurts, this is a problem, and and the doctor diagnoses that problem and then gives them the medication or the treatment. And we're not really asking the question of okay, what caused that problem in the first place? Because you know you can try to put what do they say like put like hold your hands over the water faucet and like try to keep it from coming out, but like it's not going to help unless you turn the faucet off. You know, so we want to get at the root cause of that that disease and at the end of the day a lot of diseases are all interconnected and have a lot of the same causes like and they all stem back to our environment mostly so nutrition you know other toxins and things in our environment stress that you know the community aspect is huge like sense of purpose exercise all that stuff so it's really cool that that's happening and that we can be a part of studying it and seeing how it works and um, hopefully one day that's you know, the medicine that we hope to be practicing. We hope that more people will be practicing like that. Hello. <laughs> what, what do you want me to talk about? I was lucky that um, Mo from Beyond the Whiteboard gifted me a large gift certificate to this coffee shop. Yeah, I think he appreciates good coffee also. Um, I don't think I drink as much coffee as him though because he might have overestimated how much money I'm going to spend here. But, but I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't drink that much coffee anymore. I drink mostly tea and like I might come here once a week or something. I will, I'll save it if it's like really good coffee then I'll drink it. But it's my favorite Phoenix coffee shop. It's the best coffee in Cleveland. <laughs> At least I think so. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, we actually met in college. We lived in the same dorm and he was an RA and it was just through like mutual friends who were watching um, Grey's Anatomy actually like in one of our friends rooms. That's when I first met him and he was actually like after we watched Grey's Anatomy he like was on the computer looking at CrossFit.com and I was like oh what is that that looks really cool and so he started telling me about it and um, then over the next few months, like we started getting to know each other more, and we both joined the CrossFit gym around the same time, like right after we started dating. So that has been a huge part of our relationship, like since we very first met. Mostly just like dorky stuff, like being around the dorm and studying, and like yeah. that kind of stuff. I would say I don't usually have like complete blowout cheat meals where I'm like was going and eating spaghetti and like cake and cookies for a meal. It's usually like smaller things here and there. Um, and it usually, it's more like desserts. Like I'd, if I have the choice of eating like bread or eating like chocolate ice cream, I'm just going to eat chocolate ice cream. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so it mostly comes in the form of things with chocolate, I would say. <laughs> I don't really drink beer. I'll drink wine. Um, over the holidays, we had champagne, like, a lot of champagne. I was staying at Danny's house, and there's, like, always something, like, every night it was like we were celebrating something, <laughs> so it was, like, it was, like, Christmas. I mean, that was the first time, I guess, we'd all been together since we got engaged, and then there was Christmas, and then there was my birthday, and then there was New Year's, and there was, yeah. but champagne's really good, so. <laughs> the way that there's so much research that goes into all the products that you guys make and that it's you put all that information out there so people know like this is why we want to provide the best product for you because and this is how we do it and this is how we have the best ingredients and um, it's not about like trying to make money or trying to you know have a fancy label or something it's about you know this is providing people with what they need to perform the best they can
I was training by myself a lot of times because I'm a nurse and um, just working crazy shifts. One day Doug Chapman, who programs for both of us, uh, texted me and said, hey, like, how far are you from C-Town? And I was like, like 40 minutes or so. And he said, I think you and Julie should start working out. And I was like, uh, sure. I'm, I don't want, it's not like I don't want to work out with the number two girl in the world. And have someone that can try and work around my schedule, I can work around her schedule, both being in the healthcare field. Uh, so far it's worked out pretty well. huge opportunity that I have because, you know, now there are people who care about what I say, which is, you know, crazy sometimes to think about, but I have not been very good about this, but I was writing blog posts at one point, which has been, which was cool to like, to see how many people you can start having these conversations with about things that you really care about and how many people you can reach, because um, not everyone has that opportunity. I don't know exactly like where I'm gonna go with it or what I'm gonna be able to do, but I know that it's a huge opportunity and to be able to share my experience, I think it's a huge thing to share my experience as I'm going through medical school and I'm trying to, you know, one day address this prevention and that some of these problems with our healthcare system and in my own way. Hopefully that can start conversations with other people and you know we can create gain more momentum just by you know being able to share that with more people. Nice. I always record my workouts right after I do them, because otherwise I forget. And I put like it gets it allows you to capture good notes too because I just put right whatever I'm like feeling during the workout. Once you're in that position, people will listen and people will take what you say really seriously. So it is a big responsibility to make sure that you know, to make sure that I'm I'm not giving people bad information or that I'm you know, I'm backing up what I say. I think you just have to set yourself at the beginning like a bare minimum, like I'm gonna go to the gym four days a week. And then if something comes up, it's like, okay, it's not the end of the world.
neither of us are really that like enthused with planning yeah. i don't think but and i'm not like one of those people who's had my wedding planned since i was little i'm just like we just yeah. we just want people to be there and have a good time um so we decided to hire a wedding planner because which is the best thing we've ever the done yeah ever the wedding planner's like what colors do you want and i'm like pretty ones i don't yeah. know like you decide <laughs> Whatever you think, you're the expert. We found a really cool venue that's like up northern Michigan and on a lake, and that's like the coolest thing to me. I think mean, last year I really felt a lot of pressure because I had had the year off. The year before I got second and it was like I, I want to win like this is it and it, I think I almost put too much pressure on myself this year I also have the added benefit of this being my last year so that gives me an extra push to like really leave everything out there so while I do like I am going to win the 2015 CrossFit Games for me like I really don't care that much what place I end up in because last year I left a lot of workouts being like I think I held back a little bit so I just care that if I get last place and I feel like I really left it all out there, that's, you know, that for me is like going out on top. Yeah, I mean, this is it. This is my last shot. So it's like now or never. <laughs>